I came to came here to see if my mail was here, and sure enough, it was here. Fed up about not getting mail delivered to his home, Lannis Gray decided to go to the Dundalk Post Office. He says last week, postal workers turned him away, telling him... Our mail was bundled. If, the, if our mailman didn't show up to go to work, we got no mail. This time, he stood in line and waited 20 minutes. I'm having to come here every single day to pick up mail, which I think is ridiculous. Other Dundalk residents also wonder what's going on with their mail delivery. It's terrible. We haven't had no mail since last Tuesday, so it's got to be uh, backing up. Micah Hanna has relied on the Postal Service to deliver her grandson's medicine. She's worried because she has no idea when it could arrive. I'm totally fine getting mail once or twice a week, but I don't get any. And you need the medicines. <laughs> I need the medicines, yes, for my grandson. In Parkville and other neighborhoods, more complaints. Because of the COVID, you don't know if you're supposed to get mail and it's not being delivered or the mailman is not delivering it. In response, the U.S. Postal Service says it is committed to providing the highest level of customer service, which includes timely, reliable, and secure delivery of mail and packages. The Postal Service adjusts staffing continuously to serve our customers. Baltimore Post Offices continue to use additional carriers from nearby offices when necessary to provide adequate staffing. The people we talk to say they're trying to be patient. We just want our mail, that's it. And Ms. Hanna says she is now using a different delivery service to get her grandson's medicine. The post office recommends that people try their informed delivery service. What that does is it gives you a digital preview of envelopes and postcards. We talked to one man who actually does have that service. He tells us that he did get those digital previews, but he's still waiting two weeks later for those letters that he has to arrive. Reporting live from Dundalk, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.